G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with a video about how to descend safely on gravel roads with special appearances from three guests who have a plethora of knowledge on this particular subject matter. This is a video I spent a long time contemplating, as you can see from the date I drafted the original article way back in December of 2014. It took some thought and technology to progress a little before I could go ahead with this production. And remember, cycling and the related activity of descending can be a risky business. What follows in this video are tips. You and you alone are responsible for your actions. Use good judgment, wear a helmet, ride within your limits and be safe. Hi, I'm Karen with Panaracer Factor of Bikes, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to descend on gravel. So when you're descending, um, the first thing I think about is picking a good line. Make sure you have the smoothest space possible, and typically you like to go outside to in, and that is the best way to keep your speed. Um, I also like to get up off my seat a little bit so that I'm not smashing down on my seat, so then um, I'm a little bit crouched in my position um, and I don't try and tense up. If I squeeze and get all tense, then the bike's gonna do crazy things. So I kind of stay a little bit loose, keep a good position. And with gravel, you just kind of have to remember that the bike's gonna go certain places that you may not think you're gonna go, but kind of let the bike do the talking. Trust the bike and just um, be smooth and let it go. A tip I rely on when descending into a corner populated by washboard, corrugations or ruts is to scrub off speed before I enter the corner, preferably on the drops, utilizing mostly the rear brake with my weight shifted back. Then depending on the gradient, I try and get off the brakes altogether and allow the bike to take the hit through the corner. Pulling hard on the front brake across a rut or washboard could cause the bike to dive forward, especially if your weight isn't shifted back far enough. In this scene, I'm descending a very steep and rough descent. I'm doing most of my braking with the rear brake, pulsing it on and off, and pulse braking on the front once I'm clear off the corner to help keep the speed in check. I'm doing my best to continually look up the road and stay to the appropriate side of the narrow road, which isn't always possible. On the corners, I don't lean hard into them, but I shift my weight so my outside leg bears more of my weight and ideally keeps traction in the corner. In the corner just ahead, I get off the brakes completely, remain loose and allow the bike to take the hit on a rut I spotted. My body weight is well back. Tip number one, uh, don't uh, have too much air in your tires. You want them a little soft so they kind of grip the road. Tire pressure is arguably the most important factor to overall comfort on a gravel bike and during a descent, it's a huge factor to safety. My friends at Envy have created an extremely helpful recommended tire pressure chart, which I have linked in the video description below. In a nutshell, the chart breaks it down by body weight, inner rim width, tire width, and of course, recommended tire pressure. Tip number two, control your speed so you're not uh, losing uh, friction when you're taking that turn. Then you probably don't want to lean into it too hard on a gravel surface. And tip number three, have some confidence. Always look ahead, up the road, scanning for potholes, ruts, or the unexpected. If you have to make a direction change, don't make a sudden movement. Gently adjust your line to avoid the obstacle. If you must cross the middle of the road across a crown of gravel, avoid doing so until the crown flattens out. Riding through deep gravel at speed is akin to riding sand and asking for trouble. Avoid descending on the brake hoods. If you strike a pothole at speed, you stand a greater chance of losing the bike from beneath you if your hands slip off the hoods. Descending on the drops provides better control and better leverage on the brake lever, requiring less force to affect braking. This next piece of advice is not recommended for everybody, but if you use a navigation device, glancing down quickly and periodically at the map screen can give you an idea of what to expect a little further up the road. Be extremely careful if you do take your eyes off the road, even if only for a split second. 
Hey, Jake from Emmy Composites here, and today we're going to talk about a few tips that can help you descend more confidently on a, on your gravel bike. So, I would say the number one uh, advice I have from a descending standpoint when you're on the gravel bike is to stay calm, cool, collected, and relaxed. You see the descent coming. The last thing you want to do mid descent or mid corner in a descent is grab a handful of brakes or do aggressive shifts in body movement. Let's focus on keeping your body loose and in a position such that you're comfortable. And again, no aggressive braking, no slamming on your front brake, no slamming on your rear brake. You want to stay calm, cool, collected. Um, second tip I have is it's always a good idea to lower your center of gravity. So for me personally, um, I immediately go to the drops when I descend. The drops of our gravel bar are my favorite position for descending. And then I also have a dropper post on my gravel bike, which helps, again, lower my center of gravity for, uh, again, more confidence and then just a more stable feel while descending and then my third uh, third tip would probably be just to uh, I don't know if there's a third tip but that's the uh, that's the tip right there calm cool collected <laughs> in this scene from the 2017 crusher in the Tasha gravel cyclist K-Dog is descending the colder crush K-Dog isn't the best descender and he's dragging his brakes way too much but he's descending within his comfort zone also he's sticking to the appropriate side of the road out of the way and riding predictably down the descent, holding a steady line. And this is an example of the unexpected happening to yours truly. I didn't catch sight of the rut ahead of me, and you can see the result. As you can see from the GoPro footage, I hit the deck. That bloody hurt. And um, I think I cut my lip, but uh, it could have been way worse. I can't see my camera too well, but uh, hopefully I'm not too smashed up. I feel okay. It's a uh, bruise. Behind the shoulder blades, but I'll live. Just gonna go down gingerly. I think I loaded up the front wheel too hard with uh, the front brake and um, I hit a divot and catapulted over the bars. This is why you always wear a helmet. Be careful and always descend within your comfort zone. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful and insightful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.